Philadelphia school librarian in Prince George's County accused of using a racial slur during a parking lot confrontation. And video of this incident went viral after it was posted on Facebook. Our bureau chief, Tracy Wilkins, is getting a response tonight from the district and from parents who say they're not surprised. Did you just call my husband the N-word? Yeah, I did. Yeah, in front of my children? For a moment, <laughs> I was in complete shock and I was like, did she just really say what I think she said? Don Tolson Hightower says with her children in the car, she couldn't help but record her asking this woman, did she actually call her husband the N-word? It happened in a Walmart parking lot in Charles County. And I was hoping that she would say, you know what, I was upset, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say what I said. But you see from the video that she was entrenched in what she was saying and she was proud of what she said. Don posted the video of the confrontation on Facebook where it went viral. It turns out this woman works for the Prince George's County School System and is the librarian at Potomac Landing Elementary in Fort Washington. You never know who these I feel like closet racists are. The Prince George's County School System released a statement in part that says diversity and tolerance are core values of the school system. We expect all members of the PGCPS community, administrators, faculty, staff, and students to behave in a respectful manner. Some parents who know the librarian tell us the accusation is disappointing, but... Really, I'm not shocked. When my wife told me, I said, I'm not surprised. She told me very early this morning after I dropped my daughter off, and, she, and I said, I'm not surprised. My daughter loved the library, and had somebody like that work in the library is crazy. For now, the librarian's future is uncertain. She's still an employee with the school system, but not allowed back in this building until they're done with their investigation. In Fort Washington, I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4.